across the valley. This is Good Day Sacramento. This is a segment for you, Coach. Just for me. Just, just for, for me. You. It's about my grades. And I know we got several people uh, who are emailing and watching the show right now. Introduce yourself. Hi, the first I'm Sherry Torkus. I'm a pharmacist and author, and uh, I'm here to talk about how to reduce those migraine headaches and prevent them if we can. Okay. This let is me, such let me do this real quick. Topic. Oh, okay. There we go. Get my hair out of my mic. Just doing that. Yes. Yeah, so, we're, we're old okay, friends. Okay, so what do I okay, have what here? Right okay. These are some foods that a lot of us enjoy. A glass of wine, maybe some chocolate, some cheese, nuts, some salsa. But the, what these foods share in common is that they're often triggers for people that have migraine headaches. Yeah, here's the problem. That's what I had for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. and, and the wine, too? <laughs> yeah, the wine, too, yeah. Well, well, the issue with wine is often the sulfates and some of the, the ingredients and the compounds in these foods can be problematic if you suffer with migraines and that's why it's really important for the 50 million Americans that have migraine headaches to keep a food diary and a diary in general of, to, to document when you have a migraine is it a change in weather as you were mentioning mm. that's a trigger for you lights smells not enough sleep maybe too many drinks the night before mm. yeah, hormonal yeah. changes for women you nailed me right there doc yeah, that, that, yeah. those things are often the triggers okay okay well what can we do yes. that's the problem okay. I know I got them but what can I do. Okay, this is what's new and exciting, and this is a preparation of ginger and feverfew. It's called Lipogesic M, and this was just clinically studied. There was a, um, a research paper published in a journal called Headache, which is a the leading research journal for migraine headaches. And it was interesting because this is a natural product, and it's not a, um, a prescription right. pharmaceutical. It contains natural ingredients, and it's a gel. It's a sublingual gel, so it comes in these little packets, and what you do is is you open up the packet and you squeeze it underneath your tongue. It's sub absorbed sublingually, which means under the tongue. Okay. So it gets into your system quickly. It has pharmaceutical grade olive oil, which enhances the delivery. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. So basically, oh, so I got it all over. Oil. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's just a little bit of an oil, and that goes under your tongue. It's rapidly absorbed. And in this clinical study, they found that this was able to halt a migraine within two hours in 64% of subjects that were really? in this study. Now that's huge. That is huge. So sixty four percent of people had pain relief, pain gone basically within two wow. hours. And the cost of the of the Lipogesic M is only about five dollars a treatment versus say Imitrex or some of the yeah. other pharmaceuticals, thirty dollars or expensive. more. Very where, expensive. Where can you get that? So CVS and Walgreens, and oh, okay. this is what's really new and exciting with respect to um, natural ways to deal with migraine. Um, so that's something I'm getting a lot of feedback from patients that they find it very effective and uh, are delighted that it works quickly and without side effects. Now you could, I'm going to leave some with you exactly, okay. that goes missing. You could actually take that, say you already started an Imitrex or a Zomeg or another uh, pharmaceutical product, you can take this along with your medication oh, as okay. well. Yeah, I was gonna and even if you had taken an Excedrin or something like that, it is okay to take the two together. Okay. And, and so that's this, important to know. What you get over here okay, so here I have some other foods that are helpful for prevention of migraine. And what these foods share in common is that they're rich in B vitamins, in particular vitamin B2, which has been shown to have some benefits for prevention, magnesium, which is in spinach, um, high fiber whole grains, the granola, the sweet potatoes, and if you can keep your blood sugar level stabilized, that may also help because if your blood sugar is fluctuating throughout mm -hmm. the day, that often can trigger a migraine for some folks. The other anti-inflammatory food, which uh, a lot of us should be eating more of, is fish or, or taking a fish oil supplement. Of course, uh, we should be having a couple servings a week often we don't get enough so if you're not getting enough through your diet you may want to take a supplement well thank you very much hopefully we've helped yes, some people out and there. hopefully I can help you with your yeah, migraines as I'm well I'm dying to try this <laughs> yeah, my triggers give that a try. are um, pressure changes yes uh, my triggers are bright lights yes uh, and then lack of sleep and lack of sleep which is it's a really tough one for a lot of people I, I find most patients that I talk to today aren't getting the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep and if you combine lack of sleep along with stress those those two, which often go hand in hand, mm -hmm. are also common triggers for migraine sufferers. So go ahead, say it right now. The place is killing me, isn't it? Yeah, we, it's killing me. <laughs> well, we need to do a little fine tuning <laughs> with your lifestyle. <laughs> a couple simple suggestions.
suggestions well, thank to you keep your headache free. Is there uh, any way for people to get in contact yeah, with you? Yeah, you can check out my website, which is sherrytorkus.com. Okay, fantastic. Thank yeah, you very thanks much. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again. Good to see we you were too. over here in the commercial break. I was like, wait a second. I think I met yes. you like eight years ago on a segment when she wrote another book about something else. And we're like, wait a yes, second. Yes, oh that's oh right. I was like, you're She's like, yeah, I remember you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So mystery, hopefully that helps you. One of our viewers out there named Mystery, she has bad migraines. This is a nice way of putting it. Yeah, the bright lights, the stress, and the sleep. Hmm. Hmm. Imagine that. All right, thank you guys. Well, it's a cupcake that has.